Guys, I can't believe that we're here um, at 20k subscribers. I think I might be in Japan right now. I don't know. I scheduled this video to come out roughly when I hit 20k subs. Which, if I am in Japan, make sure to hit me up on Instagram, follow that up to follow my experience and adventures. But for real, 20k subs? That's... I would never have imagined that when I started this little channel. When I got to my first 50 subs, I was like, all right, awesome, this is cool. 50 people subscribe to me. Now it's like, what is even happening? 20k subs, 20, 20k subs, whoa, whoa. And I have not forgotten my roots. I still try to comment as much as possible on your comments. I still try to heart every comment. On Instagram, I try to reply to every DM and try to talk more on Discord because it is everyone who is watching me that reason why I'm here. Those of you who comment on every single video without fail, I recognize your usernames and I remember you. And then there are those of you who are just hitting the like button on every video, trying to show support that way, or if you just enjoyed my content. And then there are my patrons it doesn't matter if you're a patron before or now all of you have supported me financially and that's so real the coolest thing about this is that I do have a platform to share my hobby I try to present meaningful information and advice in a comedic or more entertaining way and I try to spark conversation and all of you watching have been there along the way every step of the way and that's amazing some of the channels I want to shout out NTA which is a Neon Tetra Aquarist. You've been there since day one. I still remember that comment you made on one of my first videos. D Bachelor, go check him out. My Hectic Life Pets. The Turtle Girl, who is blowing up now, along with a gamer's wife. Fishman, awesome channel, DIY. Ernest Aquatics, I remember that collab we did together. Colin Barsby, and so many more. I can't even name all of you. Of course, everyone on Discord, my mods, Megan, Duck, Ben. We have awesome and fun and nice members like Viz and Chonk, Athino and Liz, Ace, Whale Lord. So many people supporting me, so many people supporting this channel and what I believe in. And so how else can I thank you without doing something crazy? Maybe some of you are like, Chris, what are you doing? Don't do this. Nobody asked you to do this. This is gross. What's wrong with you? But I know there are a few of you who want to see me suffer. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. You guys earned it. I will say beforehand, please don't do this at home because apparently there's some kind of allergy with bloodworms and a decent number of people do actually have it. I've been handling bloodworms all the time. I've never had any incidents, so I'm knowing good. So please just don't do this at home. I'll tell you if it'll toast or not. Just like Good Mythical Morning. Will it toast? Okay, so I got this buttered toast. Um, I'm not sure if the butter part will make it taste any better, but you know, it doesn't hurt to butter things up. And then I got this, uh, this nice container of blood worms, freshly melted. Mmm. Ooh, just dripping with that good stuff. <laughs> just putting it on the toast. Something I never thought I would ever do. Putting blood worms on toast. I bet the fishies behind me are super jealous right now, like, hey, why can't we have some of this? This looks absolutely disgusting. I bet a lot of you right now are like, Chris, please don't do this. Nobody asked you to. Again, literally no one. Chris, I'm gonna eat blood worms. Oh yeah, before I forget, we got some dried blood worms to sprinkle onto our toast. Uh, for additional, I guess you would say, you would call it a uh, texture, additional texture. I'm always talking about adding more texture in your aquascapes. Well, there you go. I do kind of feel like the dried blood worms might actually taste more palatable because I don't know, in Asian cuisine there are salty dried fish flakes and stuff like that, so maybe it wouldn't be too different from that, but I guess we'll find out. Kind of looks like strawberry jam or raspberry jam. I got a little garbage can here. I've watched too many episodes of Good Mythical Morning to know where this is going. Alright, everything seems to be in order. Alright, here we go. Um, so this is buttered toast with uh, freshly thawed frozen bloodworms and topped with a sprinkle, a generous sprinkle of dried, freeze-dried bloodworms. Mmm. <coughs> I just, 
I didn't know it would smell that bad. <clears throat> I just took a big smell and it <laughs> I think it's got my eyes watering just from the smell. <sighs> okay, this was worse than I thought. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, my friend Darren for uh, putting this idea in my head that I should do something crazy for my 20k sub special and that I should be eating fish food. Thanks, Darren, but not really. All right, we're gonna do this. Three, two, one. sensitive palate. Ooh, that's so bad. Oh, it's like, it's still like in my mouth somewhere. Oh, thought maybe I could take it and then the aftertaste would be bad. But it's all aftertaste. It just starts off with aftertaste. Oh wow, this is a struggle. I don't know if I can swallow this. It does kind of taste like blood. It's like, you know when you floss and then your gums start to bleed? You get that kind of taste in your mouth and then plus it's also fishy. I'm gonna try to swallow a bite, but it's gonna take next level non-gag reflex skills. For real. Wow, this is disgusting. Okay, round two. <sighs> really don't wanna do this. And I know nobody's asking me to. <laughs> this is so dumb. <sighs> this was even worse than the last time. This time it landed on my tongue first and the soft, mushy <laughs> feeling <laughs> combined with everything else. Yeah, so uh, bloodworms, will it toast? No. Well guys, that was disgusting. And I still have the taste in my mouth. I can't get rid of it. Again, even if you're not allergic, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Maybe if you hit your 20K special, probably not even. I probably should have done this for my 50K special if I ever get there. Mom, dad, if you're watching this, Please don't disown me, I'm not actually this dumb. But then again, I did do it. So maybe I am this dumb. Anyway, I have some leftover bloodworms in here. I'm sure they'll like it more than me. I have a newfound appreciation for my fish. How the heck do they eat this stuff? I feel like that gave me an instant headache. My body is like, bro, what are you doing? I know you like keeping fish, but bro, this is some next level stuff. Anyway, to the few of you who are still here and not grossed out and probably wasn't eating while you watched this, I hope you weren't eating, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should have had a warning beforehand. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for your support. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave you a laugh, please hit that like button and subscribe. There will always be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet.